as you can see, I'm home. I'm stuck in my house as we all are while springtime is outside and all the plants and all the flowers and the birds and everything is starting to come alive but we are trapped in our homes so I decided to share with you the images that I have been collecting for almost 20 years and to turn this into a video because I think it's important that we think about this moment we will survive, we will go out again and we will enjoy nature as never before I guess this time will teach us that we need to protect nature when I came to the U.S. for the first time in 1980 to study photography, I didn't realize how you feel when spring starts because I lived in a country where we always have spring. We always have flowers and bugs and birds and green trees but the following year after I endured the winter in Boston with all the snow and the bare trees and the lack of life in the forest when the first butterfly arrived when the first leaves started to grow and the first flowers started to bloom it was an amazing feeling and I was really surprised because I had never seen that it's like coming from this empty forest and that is what life is showing us right now this will pass and we will have the opportunity to be outside again. So I'm gonna be sharing my views. Um, the first thing I notice every year are these tiny, tiny little flowers that cover the ground. And it's a promise of what is ahead so I photograph them and I follow the path of nature. They cover the ground and they protect the seeds and the little plants that will start to grow. flowers before they grow leaves and it's an explosion of colors is something that for me that I never experienced that was an incredible feeling 
I live in the DC area and we have the famous Cherry Blossom Festival. The downtown is full of these ancient trees that were donated by the Japanese government to the US. I go every year, but I want to share an experience that I had one year when I spent the night there. It was gonna be the peak day. There were thousands of people with their cameras just waiting for the sunrise. And when all the colors started to change in the sky, the yellows, the orange, the reds, the pinks, and all these millions of tiny flowers started to shine. It was beautiful, it was so beautiful. So I'm gonna leave you with some music to enjoy the cherry blossoms. Each plant has a different calendar and it's so good because as a photographer I get to enjoy them.
So um, now we are going to the botanical garden to wait for the tulips. Tulips only grow in places where there are the four seasons because they need the cold to bloom. And when they do it, it's, it's really incredible, the amazing variety of colors and shapes. So now I leave you with the tulips. After the tulips, we see the azaleas. When I was growing up in Colombia, my mom had azaleas in our patio, in our home, but they only had just a few flowers all the time because they, they grow flowers all year round. But we never had this amazing explosion of colors as what we can see during springtime. Not only the azaleas are blooming, but all these butterflies and insects start to show up during this time. It's beautiful. Another thing that really surprised me when I came to live here in this country is that um, when the trees start to develop their leaves, they are bright green. These incredible colors are all over.
Another characteristic of springtime is rain. We usually have a lot of rain during springtime and this water is what allows nature to reborn. At the same time, wildlife shows up, birds migrate, and turtles and toads and snakes and squirrels and all these little animals that were hidden start to show up. And this is something really beautiful. Well, I think that is going to be all for today. I just wish you health and patience and think about what we were missing when we were so busy to be outside in nature. So when you can go out, go and enjoy it.